Today I'll be showing the entire Builder Boat community how to build the first true instantaneous laser and the most destructive one. Y'all know where this is going. It is orbital in the fact that you can move this anywhere above the map, but this is a lot better than an orbital laser because of the instant kill and the speed. The moment your crosshairs move on to your target, it's pretty much done for. It is armor ignoring and it detonates inside of the target. Small, large, all enemies quite literally get sent to heaven after being hit. This is Heaven's Gate. This platform will be deleted later on anyways. So select this. And you want to move this um, 520 block. So tap them 520 in the scale. Select the top one. Push it down. Alright. And place on a portal. You could color it. I don't know. Um, red. And then do the exact same thing. And then put, place on a portal and color that red as well. And next, we're going to work on the actual laser itself. It could be however big or however small you want it to be. It can honestly... Let's see. Search of neon. It can honestly... It can honestly be just like a single pillar of neon if you really wanted it to be. But... Let's try and make somewhat of a more... Oh, I'm sorry. Somewhat of a, a larger laser. Um, maybe with a diameter of 100, if that sounds good enough. So, we're gonna take this, scale 100, and we're just gonna duplicate this. And you see, the platform isn't big enough, so what we should wanna do is just enlarge it with a little, a little bit more. Now, I know some of y'all don't have neon, and that's completely fine. Um, there's plenty of other blocks like plastic and I know some of y'all might not have plastic so there's a bunch of other blocks you can make this with. I just prefer using either neon because of its visual effect or plastic just because it's super light. However, um, concrete will work, metal will work, it's just I prefer using these two materials. So just hit 9 real quick. And you can honestly make this hover smooth you want. Because I'm using neon, it's gonna be very difficult like figuring out when where um one segment ends and one segment starts. So I'm just gonna rotate it 30 degrees. If you do this with a more um I wanna say less lumen less bright uh, of a block, you'll definitely be able to tell where the edges meet. I'm not red, I'm blue arrow. So I'm gonna take blue and just pass it around. And then just make the platform a different color. Now, don't worry too much about the platform. It will be a complete, no, we'll, we'll delete it at the end. So you want to place down a lever block or a button block, either or, or, or even a cherry, it doesn't really matter right now. We just need to make sure that the binding doesn't get messed up. 
So take another block that you have a lot of, in this case, wood. Make sure that it's centered. And then what you want to do is get 100, scale it to the other side. Oh geez, I, I hit the rough. <laughs> it's like the wood block. And scale it to the other side. Um, a bit too much, so just scale it back down. Clone this. 500 blocks up. Just take the bottom. And then move it. Click it and move it up. Voila, it's all the way up there now. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna make our payload. Um, again, if you wanna save on blocks, just make sure that you shrink it down all the way as much as you can. Now, the larger the radius of the diameter of your circuit, basically, the larger your laser, the more payload you have to put in per layer. So if you have a super tiny laser, then you could put a lot vertically. However, since we have such a large surface area, we're gonna have to essentially spread it out more near the bottom. So it will probably only reach about here. But for our use case right now, that's completely fine. So just for now, I'm gonna place on some um, payload options. We have dynamite, so rotate this in. Now you can use move two to help you space out your dynamite proportionally. do now is take the edges scale 500 so what I want you to do is just select this make sure that everything's selected using the circle pattern down here not the payload don't worry about the payload just transparency to maybe 50% and collision off that'll let us walk through here even right now this looks pretty amazing Um, don't worry too much if y'all don't have that many pistons. All y'all written, all you really need is um, ten pistons. But I'll show y'all uh, how to do with if you have enough pistons, just in case. So one, two. You want to place it in, t in groups of ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And oh, what's this? I could bun out. Slate trowel. Take this. Oh, be careful whenever you're uh, selecting. Be careful not to select anything down there. So you, you want you do want to uh, select sideways. And you could tell just by how big uh, your controls are. So we have it 10, but because of the wood block, it's not going to be 10 blocks. Just select scale tool to 0.5. So this is 20. This is 30. Wait, no, this is not 30. This is on... Oh my god. It's 40. I'm, I'm being dumb today. I don't want to select the jetpack. There's no point. There we go. Now this is our forward and backward movement. If I were on Y team, this would give me all the way to the stages. Now be careful because at the stages you really do not want to hit the rocks. The rocks will damage your laser naturally. Um, so at the end you want to put a wood block and then get some pistons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Alright. Oh, and I accidentally selected the objects down there as well so be careful with that again i'm gonna do this step to the side turn your camera to the side and then what you want to do over here is get 60 blocks i mean uh 60 pistons 
So right here, this is 60 pistons, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Over here is 120 pistons, I, I think. Am I right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so perfect. All right, so take this part, select the 60 pistons, and this. You want to change the scale to 2, duplicate it. At the end, place a block and then just, uh, I suggest coloring your red just so you can identify easy. Where is the lag coming from? Yeah, they're making aircraft carrier, uh, Japanese Type 16, I think, and someone's making a guided missile carrier. Bound to the oh uh, okay N not part of the plan but if you place on another chair this will bind to the closest bindable object so we take oh, let's get rid of that first because that's annoying we take that unbind it all right and now what you want to do is take this entire side and bind it to this chair because this chair right now is clean has a clean slate except whatever that's doing right now but don't worry about that. So that's 120 pistons. Click this. Now watch carefully. Whenever you pull it, pull configuration is just how it is right now. The static default configuration. So hit S for that. Because whenever you hit S, you want it to be pulled back. Whenever you want it to go forward, hit W. So for push, it's W. For pull, it's S. Alright, so remember, it's shooting off to the right, so bind that with the chair. Now pull, remember, stack position is exactly where it is right now, the default position, so A. And that means whenever we hit D, this the laser will essentially move to the right. Now as the last part, it'll be the inverted controls or the opposite controls for the, um, for the second row. Okay, so now that we have all that selected, select like this. Static control or the static default position is D. And then push is A. Now if you have not yet, please, 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 please save it. You're almost done. <laughs> 